Hello and welcome back to the channel where today's video is of course another Star Trek Strange New Worlds review because episode 4 has just dropped. I just watched it and I have mixed feelings about this episode. And I'll get to why as we walk through the episode. So the episode opens with the with Pike and his love interest uh, for the past two seasons trying to make do with you know having you know making dinner she gives him a gift and uh, it do again because they're both captains it doesn't go well and that means that that makes Pike say we should just not try because it's impossible he, they're both responsible for 400 plus people because they're both captains of constitution class ships and you know it's also get it gets incredibly difficult for them to meet up and do all the you know all the relationship type of stuff because they're both captains and they all have this responsibility to their crew their crew comes first and all that stuff and so they they part ways um and then Pike gets uh, alerted of something that he needs to take care of on a planet. Um, a particular planet that they were there five years ago, which resulted in the loss of three crewmen and an injured Spock. And every now and again with these development planets, the Federation sends a ship, they do an orbital scan, see how things are going. And on one of the uh, when they took a closer look at one of the places on this planet, there's a Starfleet Delta, which means they've contaminated a pre-warp society and they need to go in and fix that. This is where I have the issue with this episode because this storyline is similar to those that have been done in the past. And for me, in recent memory, only, you know, not too long ago, have finished watching season two. There was three episodes in season two that had a similar premise that I did not like. And because of that, that's kind of bled into this episode. And that's why I don't like this episode that much. There are some great scenes in it, you know, great character moments for uh, Erita Ortegas. Uh, Pike has some really great scenes. And it just, but because this episode is so similar to episodes from the original series that I don't like, that's, it's left a bad taste in my mouth for, for this episode. Because again, it, this story has been done to death. Um, anyway, it has a nice twist to it. I will give it that. Uh, the, the twist that it, that it uses is different to any other times they have done a story similar to this. So they essentially go down the away team of uh, Pike and Benga and La'an go down to the surface and then they start, La'an is the first to start losing hours. She hears a ringing in her ear, then she eventually comes to and has a headache with loss of memory. And then it starts happening to not only her but to Mbenga to Pike, and eventually it starts happening to the crew of the Enterprise. Uh, it starts with Uhura, then some people in engineering, and then it turns into the entire ship having that issue. But eventually, um, the, the captain and the away team are taken to this castle. Turns out, one of the crew members who died, um, died whilst uh, on the first mission there did not die and he's still alive and he's now the ruler of this planet again been done before in two other episodes in season two um of the original series so whilst yes i did not expect him to be alive that it would be him that was the ruler I thought it was just going to be a case of these people found the Discovery style phaser rifles because that's literally what they are. They are, it is the Discovery phaser rifles, which is neat, you know, reusing that props. Uh, I, I, may, I did, you know, give props to that in season one of the original series. Um, and I'll give it props here, you know, 
why waste uh, have something being in storage when you can reuse it? You know, save on the budget type of thing. Um, but no, he's survived. He has, and turns out that later on in the episode, he has a whole bunch of different Starfleet stuff. Um, and uh, he he basically puts the three of them into a cage because of what's now known as the forgetting. Uh, and after a while, they forget who they are and who they are to each other. And they're in this cage and then it's the next morning and they're brought onto duty shift to break some rocks and Menga is tasked with cutting some trees. And then Pike and La'an attack the last two guards that are there and La'an gets injured. And that's when Mbenga starts to somewhat remember that he was a doctor or is a doctor and he tries to help uh, La'an because he remembers that they are friends but again little to no memory there and so the guy who took them out of the cage helped them get out of the cage and you know to has been telling them about all this stuff that uh, it's those who aren't in the palace uh, that forget their memories and so then, you know, they go off back to his hut and then they decide, uh, Pike and uh, basically decides to go back to get their memories so that Mbenga can get his memories to help La'an. You know, that instinct, that captainly instinct to protect your crew is still there in the underline as well as, you know, the necklace that he was given by his love interest. That's still there and he feels that love because that, the whilst they may forget who they are, they they won't forget all, all the important stuff. And so they make their way back, they go into the palace, and Pike lays the beat down on Zack, if, if memory serves correct is his name. He literally lays the beat down on him, and he is this close, this close to killing him, but he doesn't because his memories come back because it turns out that the palace that they're in is protected from the radiation of a meteor that crashed over a thousand years ago. So the longer you stay in this palace, your memories will the your memories will start to come back. And so Pikes does come back. They go get Mbenga and La'an. Their memories come back as well as on the ship. As I mentioned, they all lose their memory, and it's really. Erica Ortega who saves the day because after she leaves the the bridge of the Enterprise she goes back down to her room and it's also the computer kind of sounds like Majel Barrett I'm not 100% sure if that was Majel Barrett's voice or a different person's voice it sounded like Majel Barrett's uh, voice as the computer but I could be wrong um, I'm more than likely am wrong but it, rem it tells her who she is and that she's the pilot of the ship and that then she starts to, you know, Ortega hypes herself up, realizing she's the only one who can save this, save the crew. She goes back up to the ship and she piles, pilots it out of the asteroid field, which is what where Spock had ordered them to go into. Um, and then after they leave the asteroid belt, again, like with the, uh, the palace, they get their memories back. And Spock then comes up with a new shield harmonic type of thing to protect them from that. And when Pike, uh, La'an and Mbenga get back onto the ship, they decide to take the meteor that crash landed on that planet out from the planet so that they can start having normal development instead of having those in the palace uh, m remembering who they are and those who aren't uh, forgetting. And it's a, you know, it's a nice end, and as well, you know, Pike and his love interest do get back together, and the episode ends. And as I said, this type of story has been done before in, in Star Trek, and in a way, I'm glad that it's an early episode in season two, because if it was a later episode, I would have been a lot more critical on this episode. Uh, because again, this story, this type of story of contaminating a pre-warp society has been done to death in this, 
uh, in Star Trek. Again, th going back to the original series, it was done three times in the original series. It was done with the gangster episode, you know, with a book that mentioned Earth's greatest gangsters. It influenced that society to adopt that life, to adopt the gangster style. It looked more like Earth. Then there is again uh, another instance where someone went to a pre-warp society and decided to turn that into Nazi Germany. Yep. And then again with another um, captain going on to an, a planet like Earth and have them adopt Roman culture. And those three episodes I don't like. I mean, the, the gangster episode's not that bad, but it's the other two that I just mentioned are bad, and it's because of those episodes that's left a bad taste in my mouth. And so whenever an episode like this happens, I usually walk away not liking said episode. So for that reason, it's this isn't a good episode to me. There are some really good good character moments, you know, between uh, mainly for Pike and uh, Ortegas, um, but it's a plot that's been done before in Trek, and it's probably a plot that's going to continue to be done. Let's be real, because it's an it's an easy episode to write for. You know, have a planet be contaminated with something from from the Federation, have them try to go and fix it. Easy episode, but. It's, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I just really didn't like this episode. So yeah, that's gonna, gonna wrap up this review. Thank you all for watching. I hope you somewhat enjoyed my take on this episode. Uh, if you wanna subscribe to see more Star Trek content, uh, do. I'm slowly finishing up my reviews of the, uh, the Star Trek movies. Of course, every Thursday, I'm going to be doing a review of Strange New Worlds and any other future Star Trek uh, series that come back after Strange New Worlds. And of course, at the end of this month will be my original series season three review. And yeah, so I hope to see you on over on those videos as well as next Wednesday. I will be on Video Tasty's channel as well as some others, and we're going to be doing a Star Trek quiz. So that should be fun. I, I, it's going to be fun. It's going to be hectic. It's going to be chaos, and I probably will win out of the others who are who are going to be there. But yeah, that's going to be it now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Star Trek, and I'll see you tomorrow for my Starship Troopers review.